Hey guys, and welcome to Battle Week, the show that gives you all the important information of what happened in the Battlefield world this week so that you have more time to game. We're covering everything from breaking Battlefield 4 news to all the great stuff that's going on in our community, all right here, every Saturday. This week, all the vanilla maps and gamers have been revealed. Also, Battlefield community Don't Revive Me Bro has been revived. Additionally, we'll talk about Dyson's collaboration with AMD and, of course, much, much more. Not only that, but we'll also show you all the cool stuff you simply cannot miss, like for instance the Battlefield video of the week. Cool, let's just jump right into it. As most of you know, the Battlefield 4 beta will start next Tuesday, the 1st of October, and Patrick Bach, executive producer at DICE, gives us all information that we need in a short little interview. This week there also was the Tokyo Game Show in Japan and Battlefield 4 won the Future Game Awards. Already the second title in a row in Japan for the Swedish game studio. Next up, big news. The Battlefield community Don't Revive Me Bro, which started with Bad Company 2, is back with a new website, new content every day and a bright future. Here's the founder of DRMB to tell you a bit more about it. Hey guys, it's Chris, aka Red Dragons, founder of Don'tRevivemeBro.com. I'm hanging out with my boy, the Austrian Toast, and we want you to check out Don'tRevivemeBro.com. We've got awesome articles, funny images, the best Battlefield videos, and the top-of-the-line genre-defining podcast. Check us out. We'd love for you to be a part of it. Thanks, Chris. Awesome website. Check it out. And now, on to the next news. Alan Kurtz, lead core gameplay designer at DICE, was asked on Twitter whether people can be revived after a knife kill or a headshot. The short answer? Revive after headshots? Yes. Revive after knife kills? No. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Yesterday, DICE also revealed the names of all maps and some pictures were actually leaked. The vanilla map names are Siege of Shanghai, Parasol Storm, Zavod 311, Lansang Dam, Flood Zone, Rogue Transmission, Hainan Resort, Dawnbreaker, Operation Locker, and Golmud Railway. Now, you can find all these places also in real life, and actually one person put together a little list of real life pictures of all the maps we've seen so far in Battlefield 4. Okay, next news. A community member had a very good eye and actually noticed in some Battlefield 4 gameplay that now, in the new Battlefield game, you do not get points as soon as you capture the flag. You actually gain points while capturing a flag. So instead of 250 points you, for instance, get in uh, Battlefield 3 for capping a flag, you will now get these 250 points over time. So that in case you die, your effort wasn't worthless. Last but definitely not least news is about DICE and their collaboration with AMD. Yesterday, AMD held an event talking about the new cards, games, software, blah blah blah, and thank god, also Battlefield. One of the first things they talked about was the cooperation with DICE. Then they also talked about Frostbite, Battlefield 4 Quick Highlights, Battlefield 4 Tech Stuff, the difference between consoles and PCs, and especially the challenges they have with those things. But then, in the end, they brought out the big stuff. DICE and AMD worked together and created a new, low-level, high-end performance console style graphics API for PC. Basically, all you need to do is that DICE and AMD have created a way to get out even more power and frames out of your graphics cards. Those two companies worked together on that for quite some time now and in December they will bring out an update for Battlefield 4 that will affect all the AMD cards. Not only that, but also will AMD give you a deal where you will get Battlefield 4 with their new graphics card. What do you guys think? Are you going to rethink your graphics card purchase? Did you already buy an NVIDIA or AMD card? Will you still change GPU even though you already have a high-end NVIDIA card? Let me know. Alright, so now let's go to the cool stuff. Videos of the week. I'm a very active Battlefield 4 member and I'm subscribed to nearly every Battlefield channel that has over 2,000 subscribers and I'm watching as good as every video on Battlefield I can find to be honest. This is why I'm going to tell you my opinion every week about which videos you must definitely watch. Today I'm going to tell you 4 videos that you need to see 
the amount of videos I'm gonna recommend each week might vary on how much awesome content you guys produce actually. Perfect. Let's start with a hilarious video by Smitty. He just ah, oh, this guy, I'm telling you. Um, this is his fourth video of his absurdity series. And guys, seriously, just just go watch it. It's it's so funny. It was I was laughing my ass off. Really, just go watch it right now. Click click on the video, please. You can watch the rest of my video later, but this oh, it's just hilarious. The second video you guys definitely need to watch is Mashed 8's analysis of the netcode and hit detection. He compares Battlefield 3 with Bad Company 2 and tells the big differences between these games. It is very informative, clear and also raises questions for Battlefield 4's netcode and hit detection. The third video I recommend for you guys is a montage by Mr. Assault called End of an Era. To be honest, I was never a really big montage fan because nowadays all the Battlefield 3 montages are actually kind of the same. But this montage it's different. It is really great. It's amazing, actually. This is Mr. Assault's last montage, and it's a beautiful ending to it. Really great titles, great music, great editing. Great work. Go watch it, guys. It's really beautiful. Check it out. All right. Last up on my list is an event by the Shusty Bang channel called 30 Days to Battlefield 4. This event will not only give you one video each day from the Shusty Bang channel, but also a huge giveaway. Where they give away four gaming mice, four gaming keyboards, four gaming headsets, five high end CPUs, four Battlefield Friends posters signed by the Battlefield Friends themselves, and the grand prize of a high end gaming PC. Check the video out to get more information about the prices, rules, and the contest itself. Alright guys, so that was it for the first episode of Bow Week. Tell me in the comment section below, do you like the format of this show or do you have any suggestions? Also, if you do have any powerful content you want me to look at, like videos, pictures, music, as good as everything that's powerful related, simply send me a private message on YouTube and I will have a look at it and who knows, it might be featured in the next episode of Bow Week. Cool stuff guys, that's about it for me and as always, may the skill be with you.